This video is Maths Lesson 20 on Lines. Section 1 Types of Line Lines can be horizontal, vertical, up and down, or diagonal. The relationship between lines can be perpendicular, that is, at right angles, and we often have a little box in the corner here to designate that it's perpendicular. Parallel. Parallel lines say the same distance apart. We can remember that that's parallel because parallel has two L's in it, which look like two parallel lines. And neither. Not all lines need to meet in either perpendicular or parallel fashion. There are many different types of angles. Acute is less than 90 degrees. Right angle is exactly 90 degrees. Obtuse is greater than 90 degrees or a right angle, but less than a straight line, which is 180 degrees. A straight line, which is 180 degrees, and a reflex angle, which is greater than 180 degrees. And the remaining part of the circle can either be an acute or an obtuse angle. Section 2, Lines and Angles. Quickly, let's recap the angles you need to know. You need to know 45 degrees is half a right angle. There are 90 degrees in a right angle, 180 degrees in a straight line, and you need to know there's 360 degrees in a full rotation. Finding angles. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So if I have one part of a right angle, I can find out the other part. Or if I've got three parts in a right angle and I know two of them, I can find the third. Supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. Let's look at an example. Find angle A. Well, along here is a straight line. Therefore, 150 plus A must equal 180, because the full thing equals 180. 180 take 150 is 30, so taking that away from the whole gives me 30 degrees, so A must be 30, giving a total of 180 for the straight line. Now in these questions, if two letters are the same, then the angles for those letters are also the same. Section 3. Alternate, corresponding and opposite angles. When two lines intersect, four angles are formed. And the opposite angles are always equal. And that's because it's along a straight line. A must be 180 degrees minus B. And B must be 180 degrees minus A. And so we end up with opposite angles being the same. Alternate angles. When a line intersects two parallel lines, eight angles are formed. And the alternate angles form a Z shape in any direction. And alternate angles are equal. So these two angles here marked with A are always equal. And opposite angles are equal as well. So I can already work out a lot of the angles because these ones are going to be 180 minus A. Which brings us to corresponding angles. Corresponding angles bring an F shape. Again, in any direction, so it might be a backwards F, for example. And corresponding angles are also equal. When a line intersects two parallel lines, as we've said before, eight angles are formed. And those that are opposite are equal. Now, that can be across here, but it can also be across the parallel lines. Because these are parallel, as they get smaller and smaller, closer and closer together, you end up with it being like one really thick line. So these are also considered to be opposite angles. Section 4 is triangles and quadrilaterals. The interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. The interior angles of a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. And we can use this to work out missing angles. Let's look at an example. What type of triangle is this? Note, it is not drawn to size. Well, first of all, I've got this angle here. I need to know two out of the three here to be able to work out A. So I'm going to start by working out this angle here. This here is a straight line, so it's 140 plus this must add up to 180. Well, 140 plus 40 is 180, so that angle there is 40. I now have two angles plus my missing angle. If I add up these two, 40 plus 70 equals 110. I know all the angles add up to 180, so A must be 180 minus the two I've already got, which is 180 minus 110, which gives me 70. Therefore, A equals 70. If A is 70 and I've got 70 there, I've got two 70s and a 40. Two of my angles are the same, so my triangle must be an isosceles triangle. 